Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler Trees. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking down my hair and just talking y'all a little bit. Um, I feel really good today. So, yeah. And this video is um filmed in real time. I have not watched this video back. So, I don't really know what I'm about to be saying here. But, yeah. So, here I am taking down some twists. I decided, okay, so what I like to do is every night at bedtime, I like to twist up my hair. I don't use any product or anything. I just like to twist up my hair because I don't know. I don't really like the the bonnet, the take the bonnet off and shake look. I don't really like that. Um, and this way, my hair stays nice and detangled and it gives me a little bit of elongation so yeah the products that i use for this particular twist out is melanin hair care i use the melanin hair care leave-in conditioner that stuff is absolutely bomb anybody i recommend that stuff to they absolutely love it and i have i haven't gotten any complaints <clears throat> excuse me i am still recovering from my cold so yeah bear with me this is real life so yeah um but no so i've never had got i've never gotten any bad complaints about melanin hair care or any of my product recommendations honestly so this is why i feel like you should listen to me but yeah melanin hair care is very nice very moisturizing the shine is there the moisture is there the length is there everything is there the ingredients are good black owned business i i just love melanin hair care so much and it is definitely one of my staple hair care products so i'm sure you saw me use the bread glosser oil by bread beauty supply that is another beautiful black owned business that i love down as well they have um conditioner they have shampoo they have the um what is it the hair cream as well their hair cream is really really good i absolutely love it um that's another one of my staple products but the glosser smells so good really really nice and rich i love the scent of it and it just gives black girl luxury both melanin hair care and bread beauty supply can be found at ulta and sephora so if you want to try both, you can <laughs> pick up both. They're probably in the same section. And yeah, they're around the same price range too. Now, the good thing about Melanin Hair Care and Bread Beauty Supply is that they are more so on the luxury side of hair care. Whereas like things like um, Myel Organics not really on the luxury side but the thing with luxury hair pro hair care products is you don't have to buy them often you know what i mean it's like you really get what you pay for so when you are buying luxury hair care <coughs> or hair care that costs a little bit more money the ingredients are good are better um the product size is most likely going to be better as well because you don't need to use that much. Whereas something like Myel Organics, you're going to be buying frequently because the ingredients aren't, the ingredients might not be the best. And um, the sizes, the bottle sizes, for me and my hair, the bottle sizes matter. I can't be using those small ass bottles. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I have to, I've found out. <clears throat> I've been natural for quite some time now, so I've pretty much used everything in my hair. I found out that when using my organics, I have to buy it frequently, be more more frequently because I'm using up the product. Um which in turn, I'm losing money. You see what I'm saying? Whereas if I buy the luxury products, I'm not losing money because a little definitely goes a long way and the ingredients are richer and better. So, yeah, it's basically one of those things where you really get what you pay for. So like Cantu, for example, Cantu is five dollars. You're definitely getting what you pay for. Right. So, you know, the ingredients might not be the best. You see, um, it all plays a factor. It really does. It really does. I have. I'm so glad I made the switch to luxury hair care 
because it just works better. I've seen a difference in my hair. My hair has grown and flourished. And yeah, that's just basically the goal <laughs> for everybody, right? So yeah, I definitely steered more towards luxury hair products like melanin hair care, bread beauty, pattern beauty. I recently just bought some Fenty hair. Okay, can't wait to try that. that uh, stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Because I definitely picked up some goodies from her. I love Rihanna. And the fact that she came out with a hair care line. I say she should come out with a hair care line. Like what? Back when she made Fenty. Fenty makeup. And the fact that she did. It's like yeah. And the fact that it's also for natural girls as well. A1. I can't wait to try her line. So you see the curls. The nice popping. Big flourishing. All that good stuff. Just like a typical twist style from kyla latrice sometimes i don't like my twist style sometimes i do it depends on the day but this day i fell in love so yeah nice cute beautiful voluminous thick shine uh yes ma'am okay so now we are going to go on the other side here and i'm gonna use my bread beauty oil I actually believe I forgot to use it on this side. You may see it, you may not. Either way, I I went in with the Bread Beauty Oil, um, either before or after. So, yeah, we're just going to do the same thing to this side as well. So, yeah, let's talk about the Fenty Hair Care Line for a little bit. So, I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I cannot wait to get my hands on the products. My shipment should be coming around Saturday. Today is, what's today? Today's Friday, so my shipment should be coming in by Saturday. Stay tuned for the unboxing. I really, I didn't buy, well, y'all will see, y'all will see, y'all will see, because I don't want to, I don't want to do too much, right? But um, I cannot wait to smell the products, and I just know they're going to be luxury, because, okay, so if you were looking to buy Fenty hair, if you buy if you if you've used melanin hair care or if you have used um bread beauty the bread beauty leave-in conditioner is the same price as the fenty curl cream so you're not really wasting money if if you will because like i said um to me, Rihanna's hair care line is affordable. I know there was a lot of controversy about, oh, Rihanna's hair care line isn't affordable, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no. It's literally around the same price range of the stuff that I already use. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, oh, this is like right up my alley. Now, if it was like 50, 60 bucks, it's like, okay, yeah, that's a little bit much. But the curl cream is literally $28. The bread hair cream is $28 so yeah I'm not really missing no money um okay so I did use the oil y'all saw it yeah okay I'm getting caught up in talking but <clears throat> so yeah I just can't wait to try her stuff out I've seen her curls. Her curls are absolutely popping. And a lot of people were like, oh, well, her hair is not long. So I don't even know why she came out with a hair care line. Y'all do realize that no matter what length your hair is, no matter what style you wear your hair, because a lot of people, they were like, oh, well, she wears, she wears wigs. Bitch, y'all do realize no matter how you wear your hair, no matter what length your hair is, you still need product. You know what I mean? Everybody has to wash, condition, shampoo, moisturize. Everybody has to do that. Under the wigs and all. Under the sewing. Like, under the birth. Everybody has to wash and condition their hair at some point in time. Whether you wash your hair once a week or whether you wash your hair once every six months. You are you still need hair products. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm not understanding. And whether you choose to have short hair, whether you choose to have long hair, you still have to shampoo, you still have to moisturize, you still have to condition. Everybody has to do that. Like, I don't know. I don't get that. But anyway. Yeah, I just don't like how we've been coming from my girl. Because it's like, what? I don't know. It's just weird to me. Oh, her hair is short. Like, you still have to wash your hair. You still have to shampoo your hair. You still have to condition 
Anywho. But, yeah. So, we are on the last couple of ones. Y'all see how the hair is very thick, shiny, flourishing. I love that for me. I'm trying to think. Did I do edges right here? I think I did edges in this video. Um... I am also watching this in real time. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a yellow heart. I want a yellow heart. Yellow is the color of happiness and I love yellow. So it's not my favorite color. Red is actually my favorite color, but I'm feeling yellow. I'm feeling jolly, happy, smiling because i don't know i just don't have i don't have anything to worry about my birthday is coming up i'm turning 26 oh cancers cancers in the house where are my cancer babies at i'm turning 26 i look good i feel good i'm healthy uh, my hair is healthy um my mental is good my mental is healthy so it's like things I don't know. I'm just happy. And yellow symbolizes happiness. So leave me a yellow heart if you made it. And I like doing these little emojis because it really shows me who interacts with my stuff and who doesn't. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that's here but not really fucking with it. You feel me? Um, It's a lot of weirdos. So leave me a yellow heart. That way I know you rocking with me, okay? <clears throat> All right, and this is the hair big and sexy and flourishing. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Pick it out. When in doubt, pick it out. The bigger, the better, baby. The bigger, the better. And this is why I like day two, day three, day four. Because it's just big, flourishing, and yeah. Ugh, I did that every time. Every time. Every time. Okay, so now I'm, now I'm going to put my scrunchie on and I'm going to do my edges. So, I want y'all to pay attention to this edge control, okay? This edge control. Okay, we going to get the little, yeah. Right, we going to get that together. Okay. Come on. Yep. All right. I didn't realize how hairy my forehead was. So, okay. Well, whatever. Okay, so this is growyouredgesback.com edge control. Literally, that's it. That's all. Growyouredgesback.com. One of my favorite edge controls right now. This is black owned, okay? And it's at a black owned beauty supply store. If you live in LA, Glow and Flow Beauty Supply. Um one of their locations is in Inglewood, and they have a second location. The second location is in Hawthorne, okay? So make sure you go get your growyouredges.com edge control from Glow & Flow, or you can shop online if you if you're not, if you don't live in LA. Definitely shop online as well. Um, and yeah, I really, really love this edge control. It's so good, <laughs> this look i don't even have to say too much okay i really don't i don't have to say too much at all um and mind you he's a black man okay yeah that's different right this is a black man that specializes in hair care right okay cool yeah but i love that for him his name is lorenz he's really sweet and he just wants all the girls to have good edges and good hair care. You understand what I'm saying? You, you can't, you really can't beat that. He really good for the sisters, okay? So, yeah. Look at it. Ugh. It just works. It really does. It it really just works, okay? And I love supporting Black-owned businesses. That is my strong suit. That's what I love to do. Um, and I will never stop supporting my Black-owned businesses ever, ever, <laughs> ever. If I can get it Black-owned and it makes sense, I'm going to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Most of my hair care products are Black-owned. <coughs> uh, 
pretty much y'all should all know that most of my hair products are black owned and um yeah i'm never gonna stop especially small businesses as well never gonna stop supporting small businesses um so yeah because you know small businesses sometimes they do it better than a bit they do it better than the bigger businesses so yeah okay so i am about to set my edges and i'm going to take my edge scarf off and y'all can see the details for yourself okay so all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is kyla latrice so you can keep up with me my tiktok make sure you follow me on tiktok we almost have 40k my tiktok is kyla latrice 98 i go live on tiktok often um you can interact with me ask me questions and just see you know my personality we can vibe on there and everything and this is my hair real pretty uh, i just love it i love embracing my hair bye